So in this quick tutorial, I wanted to discuss the concept of multiplexing. A lot of you have been sending me questions with regards to how many LEDs or just general outputs can you drive from an Arduino pin, how many can you drive with two pins, etc. So I thought I would um, give you a basic overview of what uh, multiplexing is, how you can apply it on some of your projects. Um, as an example, you can use this uh, in a very common uh, nowadays build called the LED cube. So um, this is a simple concept, but uh, very important if you're uh, interested in electronics. So without any further delay, let's jump right in. So there is a, there is a particular concept in multiplexing called Charlie Plexing after Charles Allen, uh, which he proposed in 1995. So this concept essentially allows you to calculate how many outputs you can drive from a particular set of pins. So Without getting too much into the theory, let me just illustrate it with an example. So let's say you have um, two output pins, two digital output pins that can go, so let's say out one, out two, that can either go low or high. And low or high, for those of you that are using Arduino, it's zero volts or five volts. It's uh, I use that interchangeably. So let's create the following truth table. So output one, output two. Right, so you can either set both of them to low, you can set one to high, you can set the other one to high, or you can set both of them to high. Right, so what does that tell you? That tells you that, in essence, you uh, would be able to have four different states with two pins, but more commonly, uh, the way you would drive the um, LEDs is like so. So you would have two LEDs in between uh, back to back. Um, so what does this create? So this, in this state, if you put output one, so let me just continue with the truth table. So let's call this LED one, and this is LED two so if output one is high and output two is low right so output one high output two is low led one will go will turn on correct if in the other hand output two is high and output one is low led two will turn on um, in the case of low low so what you can do is Imagine it like this, you have nothing for the other two states. So let's say you wanted to add a, a third LED, right? So LED 3, you would want to either put it on 1 or 2. Let's say you want to put it on 2, so this would be low. So you would need a uh, high. In that case, you draw it like this. Resistance, and then you would go to a 5 volts. Right, so this is 5 volts or high if you prefer. So if output 2 is low, LED 3 uh, will light on given that output 1 is low. Be careful that if you set this to low and this to um, high, then both this LED and LED 2 will uh, light up. So this is the basic concept of Charlie Plexing. Um, if you add a third pin, uh, let's eliminate this for a second. So if you add a third output three, you can add LED here, you can add LED here. So you can add a pair of LEDs between each two pins, but now that you have three, you can also add two LEDs going from output one all the way down to output three. So in essence, you would be driving um, six LEDs with this concept. And there's a, on the wiki page, there is a um, very helpful uh, sheet that tells you how many LEDs you can drive with a given set of pins. And just to quickly give you an idea with uh, four, you can drive 12. With 10, you can drive 90. Right, and this is uh, this is this is a number that goes up uh, exponentially. So, 
you're going to be driving a lot of LED pins with very few pins. And just think of all the applications. If you set up your shift registers right, and you actually go into uh, this logic, you can exponentially increase the number of uh, outputs you can drive. So, um, once again, just to give you another example, in a um, in an LED cube, you would have uh, LEDs essentially lined up like so. So you would create a a sort of a um, two-dimensional matrix. Let me just quickly draw this out. Make sure I don't make any mistakes in my drawing. So uh, you want to essentially control one row, sorry, one column, and then one row per pin. So, and I'm emitting the resistances here, sorry about that, but um, you obviously need a resistance, and um, you can do it through clever designs by only incorporating one in each row or one in each column. So as you can see I'm driving nine LEDs with in this case six pins. Um, so that's the two-dimensional uh, drawing of the LED cube on which you can build uh, up. So obviously a three by three cube is gonna only um, uh, is going to allow you to draw with much less pins and then you can also mu multiplex in the third dimension so to speak so that's a concept that um, is a bit more advanced but you can find some literature online if you are uh, deciding to go that route for that project so that's it for multiplexing let me know if you have any questions let me know if you want to see a demo but I, I think it's fairly straightforward and you can plug in a couple of LEDs on your breadboard test it yourselves and uh, let me know how you uh, how it turns out and if you have any difficulties once again let me know in the comments thank you guys for watching make sure to subscribe take care bye